Hey Cortana, what's the weather like today? The forecast shows mostly cloudy skies with a high of 48 and a low of 28. That's Cortana, the Microsoft Windows Phone feature, now built into an early build that we're looking at of Windows 10 Pro. I'm Jeremy Kaplan from Digital Trends, coming to you live from the Microsoft Windows Consumer Preview event here in Seattle, where we're looking at some early iterations of what's going to be the next build of the Windows operating system with a lot of really neat new features, including some iterations of some older things and some cool new things. The integration of Cortana is one really great thing. And here you're seeing search results built directly in. We can ask her anything, for example, and we can also do a lot of other things. Hey Cortana, remind me to send an email later on today. This isn't my laptop, so I can't plug in my friends' names, of course, but I can easily plug in a date and a time. Very neat little feature. The other really neat thing we're seeing here is a new version of the Start menu built exclusively for tablets. You can see an easy jump into the full screen tablet mode. And if you have a new device, which is designed to switch between being a tablet and being a laptop, a lot of new convergence devices, there's a new feature called Continuum. You can see it right here one button that swaps you between these two modes. Full screen tablet mode, standard laptop mode, which gives you this new interface for the start menu. Again, Cortana still readily up front, and when you launch an app, it's gonna launch you directly into a full screen version of that app designed for use on a tablet. Push the button, and you're back down to a windowed version of the app. So much easier. One of the other things we're seeing here in this new build is a new version of the notifications menu. You can see it's got a new cleaner look to it, some easier access to common functionality, and these items will have uh, additional functionality built into them. I don't think this build here has some of that functionality yet, but you'll see it in the near future. So a couple of really neat new things built in here. So that's a quick glance at some of the new features that you're seeing with this new build here. This is going to be made available next week. We're going to have a full version of Windows 10 available at some point later on this year. Microsoft says it's going to be free for most users, that's people using Windows 8 and even Windows 7.